Yeah. yeah. So I know outside of outside of like recording this podcast episode, we've talked a lot about like just the day to day basics of like what goes on at our jobs. But what do you what would you guys say is like your what do you think is your biggest benefit of having a job, whether that be for like for the future or something else? Mm. Because I think for mine specifically, I think customer service as as bad as customer service can be. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh the jobs that i've done like working in my church um in children's ministry or working in my church with youth ministry when i was older and that now like working at a grocery store having like the range and being able to like develop different techniques to like figure out how to manage children when they're starting to argue with each other and fight over <laughs> toys and then like how to <laughs> Uh, manage adults when they're fighting well, over toys <laughs> youth when they're yeah, yeah adults in a grocery store fighting over things at the grocery store and arguing and then also like youth being able to figuring out ways to like keep them engaged and actually want to do things instead of always mm. sit at sides and i don't want to do them. what do you guys think is like the biggest takeaway because that was mine hmm mine is pretty I... similar sorry <laughs> no go ahead because <laughs> um, i i worked with kids it also helped like in a sense where when I was an assistant, when volunteering, I didn't have to do anything. I just showed up. Um, the coach is like, all right, Ella, get in the water and show them how to do a, show them how to do this. And I was like, all right, bet. And I hopped in. <coughs> I did the did what I was supposed to do. And then I went home. But this time I had to, like, sit down and kind of plan, like, oh, today if we're working mm. on this, what are certain, like, activities that the kids need to do? Or, like, if one kid is having trouble doing one thing, what is something I could tell them? I guess it was just me being in charge and having to, like, plan things out and, like, being responsible for, like, I guess, like, other people. Um, mm -hmm. I guess it, you could say it was, like, a leadership experience thing. Like, I think it really helped me be more okay with taking charge. Like, it's, like, the school year after, I felt a lot more comfortable within group projects. Like, just, like, being able to tell them what to do. Like, you can apply what you learn in your jobs. Mm -hmm. I guess to be cheesy, you can apply it to what you do in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. next. But I really do think that being someone that had to plan out like let like swim lessons and like like just be in charge of kids and tell them what to do, it helped me A be more okay w within group settings where I had to be like a leader. Um and also it like, kind of helped me be able to talk to people that I didn't really know. Like, they're kids, obviously, like, I'm not nervous talking to them, but it definitely did help because when I'm talking to people my age or older, like, I can get a little nervous. But, like, having experience just, like, being a leader and then working with older people that, like, viewed me as equal, it helped me. Mm. Yeah, like, it helps you, like, feel a lot more confident in yourself when you have, like, mm -hmm. like university students, like, people with, like, established careers, like, see see you as like an equivalent you know mm -hmm. yeah I think I think it um it kind of helped me grow a bit of a backbone I would say and really helped me um learn how to filter like in this moment what is necessary what is unnecessary because when you work in um like most of my experience has been in food service when you work in food service where it's like constantly like go 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 you don't have time to deal with all of the tiny like unnecessary details of like mm -hmm. pleasing everyone i guess i don't want to say not to please people but like at the end of the day some people are just not going to be satisfied and i had to learn to let go of that because i would spend too much time trying to please this one person who did not want to be pleased they just wanted to be angry and not enough time like actually doing my job and i had to learn how to be like look sir i don't know what to tell you i'm so sorry we can't fix your problem right now here are the options available for you have a good day right like yeah. I, I i and and i think like i think i really like Della's point about like working with people who are older than you who kind of treat you as an equal really boost your confidence too because it's like um like when i started working at the job i currently am because like we deal with a lot of adults that come in and out, whether they're like delivery adults or like customer adults. <laughs> That's, yeah. Um, they, you can feel really small, especially when people start getting really frustrated and being like significantly younger than all of these people. I was always like, oh wow, they really just like don't like me. But then I would have like coworkers who were in their age group, like backing me up. And I would be like, yeah, okay. You know what? No, like I am allowed to be 
like up like upset in this situation or i am allowed to say like look mm -hmm. i can't like help you any further like i've offered you what i can right so i think it was really cool like working with adults and working with older people you get a really interesting perspective on life so i think that was my biggest takeaway yeah you, yeah, start, de you start developing sorry. your edge right yeah it's like you belong yeah. there there's a reason why you're doing that you're able to do it you can hold your own mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. also cool having like older co-workers because usually if you're working a part-time job the other people there are also working part-time jobs and it's like you, they're, they're like an older sibling at a point where you're like yeah you, when you're being yelled at by like random people together it's it's like a kind of a bonding moment yeah. bonded like, trauma <laughs> yeah like i know that a lot of the people that I used to work with went into similar fields into what I was interested in. So like when we would just have the chance to talk, I'd be like, oh, so how is university? How is, how is like your program? And they're like, oh yeah, super fun. And then I just like learn about like their jobs, their programs, stuff they were mm -hmm. doing. And I kind of like, like they were my version of this podcast. <laughs> and yeah, it was just like, it's just, it's a good way to once again, yeah. make even more connections because at this point, you can make connections everywhere and working yeah. on the job with older people mm -hmm. it helps like yeah i don't know it just helps <laughs> yeah. and adults lead fascinating lives like i think it's mm. interesting to talk like one of my bosses like he traveled the world for so long he speaks like seven languages and i was like fascinated just like talking to him and i was like wow like you have all this experience like tell me more share your knowledge like i think and i i think it's really interesting because like I don't know, okay, I don't know about you guys, but, like, workplace drama, like, if that oh, exists. Oh, yeah. Because, like, my <laughs> first job, talk on that. my first job was, like, very heavily other kids my age and younger who worked there, and it was, like, drama central a little bit sometimes. I'm, for legal reasons, I don't know, I don't want to go too deep with that, but, like, definitely I can see a difference between, like, that age group and, like, an age group where I'm the youngest worker and I have adults who have other things to do and other things to care about other than like <laughs> whether or not someone cleaned the toilets right the night before, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Anna, what about you? What was your biggest takeaway from your job? Um, I think the, uh, the phone part was surprisingly like good for me because I used to... Well, I mean, kind of still, but I used to get very, very anxious about phoning people, like specifically like calling people and yeah. talking on the phone because just generally speaking, I felt that I wasn't really good at speaking, but this was like very repetitive and like it just kind of became muscle memory for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like, Hi, welcome. How can I help you? And then just going off of that, slowly developing the confidence in, like, my own words. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, that was very helpful. And also, like, as you guys said, like, having adult coworkers is very interesting and very, like, not something that you experienced before because you find yourself pretty much on the same level as them because like you do the same things at least where I work we do the same things everybody's on the same page it's just some people have been there longer some people haven't and that mm -hmm. isn't necessarily about your age so mm. and and I definitely felt like where I work everybody like every single person they're all so nice like my our staff is just so friendly so so fun to talk to i found it very hard to talk to adults i still do but it was just it was just it just felt different like there was nothing there was nothing between us that would prevent us from being just on the same level mm -hmm. because i don't know because we worked the same job and we were in the same environment with mm -hmm. the same things to do so yeah i really like that and i think i think that kind of confidence that is is pretty gonna be pretty useful when i start putting myself into the real world 